Hello, this is Steve Malone with CompassFX. I hope you're doing well today and you're getting some good trades. If you're looking for a strategy that's a little bit longer term, so you're not involved in the chop and the up and down of intraday trading, you may want to check out the weekly pivot strategy. This is a fairly simple strategy. You're looking for the market to move out towards the extreme pivot levels and either retrace back to the current week's pivot level or the following week's pivot level. And let me show you what I mean by this because it took place today on the euro dollar. Let me uh, put the weekly pivots indicator on my chart and I'll show you in a moment how to get this indicator. Just to let you know though you can change your colors and you can change your pivot level width. I'm going to apply this to a four hour chart and the reason why I'm doing this is to show you a number of examples of this happening. But last week with the ECB press conference and Mario Draghi's positive comments about the euro, we saw a lot of strength in the euro. And the euro dollar made a push all the way up fairly close to the previous week's R2 level. Now this may not always occur in the same week, okay? So in this case it went pretty close to the weekly R2 of last week and then we started rolling over. And look what the market did. It went right down and today it pinned right at the weekly pivot point. The updated pivot point, not last week's pivot point, but the updated pivot point. And you can see this again and again. In this example over here, the market pushed down, went all the way down to the S3, as a matter of fact, dropped a little bit below the S3, and the following week, look what the market does. It rolls right up to the next week's, or the following week's, pivot level at 131.12. So what, how would you go about trading this? Well, again, you can either uh, fade the rally up or buy the dip here. You'd want to put your stop loss below the low and above the high here if you're doing that. And then look for it to roll back towards the new pivot level. Or what you can do is literally wait for a trend line break. Come across your highs in this case. And once you get a close, and this closed on the other side here, right in this area, that was a trade of about 50 pips or so. If you had waited for the break of these lows right here and then the push back to the pivot, this in this case would have been a trade of about 60, 70 pips in that case. You'll see this happen over and over again. It may not happen in the same week, but sometimes it does. In this case back here, it rolled up to the R2 level and then the market faded in the same week right down to the pivot level. Sometimes though, the market will continue to run and run and run and run. In this case, this had a strong run all the way up to the previous week's R3 level. Then it faded it, came down, now it bounced around up and down, but it came down and didn't quite get to the pivot level, but notice how it settled. It settled right into the following week's pivot level. Uh, give a, you another example. Here's an example of reaching the R3, rolling back to the new updated pivot level. Here's an example here again where the market made a move down. And you can see how the market moved down to the previous week's R2 and then rolled right back up to the new week's pivot level. So again, what you're going to be looking at is you're going to be comparing the previous week and the current week. It's kind of how it works here. In this case here, we rolled down. Again, in this example, here was the previous week's S2 level, and the market couldn't go any lower, and then the market went up, and when it went up, it went up to the new weekly pivot level, and then fell off of that. Let me give you an example of this over on the pound dollar. Uh, we had in the same week a move up to the R2, and then it moved right back down to the pivot level for that week. Then it pushed on down. Look, notice here, it hit that S2 level, Okay, so if you bought the dip here, put your stop below, and then traded it right back to the uh, new week's pivot level, that had been a trade of about 100 pips or so. Now, if you had waited for a break of a trend line here off the highs and got in on that high, that's a trade of about 50 pips or so. Not, you know, still not a bad trade. Uh, again, this sometimes you have to wait to see how the market you know, overall works. Here it made a move up to the R2 and then fades down and here it didn't quite get down to the pivot but was within about 20 pips or so of hitting that pivot. Now, taking a look at the Euro Pound, 
Now, the euro pound doesn't move nearly as much as the euro and the pound, but we see a similar situation here. We moved well beyond the R3 of last week and starting to roll back over. I wouldn't doubt that we'd probably see the euro pound eventually work its way back down towards the week's uh, pivot level, which is sitting right now in the neighborhood of about 82.32. So again, the idea is to look for the market to reach out to these extreme weekly pivot levels, the R2, R3, or S2, S3, and look to either buy on the dip or fade the rally, sell the rally, back towards either the current week's pivot level or the following week's pivot level. Now let me show you how to get this uh, pivot indicator. Simply go over to the Compass FX website and that will be www.compassfx.com. On the home page, scroll down and in the middle of the page you will find an icon that's for the MetaTrader 4 indicators. Click on that link, it will take you over to the MetaTrader 4 custom indicators. Make note of the installation instructions and especially this one right here, number two, to right click on the indicator link. Scroll down and the one you want to click on is the weekly pivots. Right click that link, save target as, and what you want to do is you want to save it into your uh, MetaTrader Experts Indicators folder. Simply click save and then that will save it into your uh, indicators folder and then you simply apply it to the chart. Again, want to look for the extreme moves, the extreme moves to the R2, the R3, or the S2, S3, and then a move back towards the weekly pivot after that happens. It may not happen in the same week, so it may roll over to the following week. If it rolls over like it did here to the following week, look for the market to move back to the updated weekly pivot. Well, this is Dean Malone with Composite FX. I hope some of this information I'm sharing with you about the weekly pivot strategy will help you in your trading. Y'all have a great day. Get some good trades. We'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.